you let sip this tea Girl, come talk to me Come on in Girl, come on in here and talk to me Sit on down and relax your body Come please. in and let's sip this tea Girl, come talk to me Come on in Girl, I'm gonna tell you about the perfect me And how God keeps blessing me Please take the time to review this disclaimer for it pertains to this YouTube channel and this YouTube channel only. Please be advised that this is solely my commentary, my thoughts, my opinion. However, I do take the time to fact check. Sometimes some information does slip through the cracks. If at any time that misinformation is put out by this channel, I will in fact take the time to present you with the actual information and correct myself. I do not like to provide false information hey honey hey it is your girl miss Lita, and i am back with yet another video so guys this is just a continuation on to the kiara jackson story i do have some video footage that i wanted to show you guys so that way you can better get an understanding of what actually has transpired the photo that you are looking at is of mr neil who is the person who is accused of killing Kiara as well as beating her and sexually assaulting her. You are also looking at a message that he posted saying that he's never harmed a kid, yet he's on the run. This video footage was sent to NC The Beat, which is an alleged beating from Kiara's stepfather. You just stopped her, you drunk ass bitch. Get the f go, go, go. Bitch, you are. I don't start me. Bitch, I will box. Don't, don't do that. The next video clip you will see is from Alana Jackson, who is in disarray because of the loss of her sister. All the information points to my stepdad. My stepdad has did this. <laughs> because they found they found her journal they found her journal in the school and it said that my stepdad has been molesting her for the past three years <laughs> and my mom let it happen all your people I hope y'all know my mom let it happen she got it by the girl it's time The next clips that you are looking at is actual protests for Kiara, where the police was blocking the people from getting to the home where Kiara's mother lived. Yeah! 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 Like a special detective or something? I don't know. Probably. 
Uh oh. He getting pissed. He did. He killed her. Yeah, he was right. Shut up the house yesterday. Last yeah. night. They got that white jeep that was sitting out here tonight. Yeah. Oh. Last one day, spot the tires. Mm -hmm. Okay, so y'all want my thoughts. My first thought was, oh, this little girl got a, a bad mouth. Um, she, she do a lot of cussing to be so young. And with her doing all that cussing, I'm like, this this seems like it's the norm. Because even in the video footage, she was continuing to cuss as she was calling for her mom. Now, I understand what is going on and why such colorful language, but I just don't understand why we allowing a child to do this. But then again, we allowed our child to be molested. So, of course, we don't mind the colorful language coming from a child. Um, I, I just don't understand that. But my whole thought process is, why is Alana, a 15-year-old, the only one speaking up for her sister? Which brings me to my thought that what this young lady is saying is true. Because had it not have been true, the mother would have been the first one to get up and say something pertaining to her child, who her child was, pertaining to what the police has said in regards to finding her hanging. So that lets me know that everything that this young lady has said is not a lie. Because let something happen to mine, baby, I'm going to be on every news that you can possibly think of letting whoever know that I'm coming for you. Um, you don't mess with the wrong child. I'm going to tell you what type of child my child was. I'm going to make sure that I stand for justice for my child. And I'm going to pray that everybody stands in solidarity with me for justice for me and mine. But for this woman not to come and say one iota, yeah, that lets me know it's, it's some validity of truth to what that baby is saying. And then, like I say, y'all, it's just mind boggling to me that CPS did not intervene and do anything. I remember at the age of 17, I was extremely ill. And this doctor had said that I was having kidney problems. Well, I was young, you know, not really paying no attention to what the doctor said. They started giving me injections. Well, at the time, I was a size zero. And so she gave me too much medication for my body weight. I wound up getting extremely ill. And I, I'm extremely sensitive to medication already. So all I could do was sleep for like a month. I couldn't get up. I couldn't move. I couldn't do anything. It, it brought about hallucinations because the medication was so strong. Well, anyhow, my mom refused to take me back to that doctor because the doctor realized that she gave me way too much medication. And the doctor's office then returned, decided, oh, well, since the mother's not going to let me correct the problem, let me call CPS on her. I still remember this to the to this day. They contacted CPS on my mother because she would not return me for further injuries. Then when CPS came out, they started wondering the same things that my mother was wondering. Well, how is it that they going to say that it's child abuse when my mother had did everything that she possibly could? I said that to say this. If it was something so minute that a doctor's office could contact and get CPS to come out and try to intervene. Why couldn't the school's intervention and journal from this young lady 
be enough to get them removed from that home. Why is that? They could have done tests on this baby to find out if, in fact, she was sexually assaulted. They could have done a number of things, but the system failed her. Not only did the system fail her, but her so-called mother failed her. I just don't understand how this can happen. And then for the police to stop the protesters from getting to this woman's house. Long as it was peaceful, what's the problem with them being in front of her home? What's the problem with them trying to seek justice for Kiera? It was peaceful. It wasn't like they was beating on the woman. It wasn't like they was throwing any bottles at her house. It, it wasn't like they did anything to damage her property. So why not allow them to get closer to the home to protest? But yet and still you threatened to arrest them? Should have been arresting this mother because she reported her child missing only for her child to be found in the basement, in the basement of their home by her daughter. That is mind boggling to me. It behooves me to what kind of world that we're living in. But y'all, I am not going to beat a dead horse. Justice for Kiera. My name is Miss Lita. I am opinionated. I'm unbothered and I am unapologetically me. Until next time. Okay, guys, so that is the end of this video, and I am your girl, Miss Lita, saying bye, honey, bye. Until next time, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And as always, thank you for watching. Man, let's sip this tea. Girl, come talk to me. Come on in. Girl, come on in here and talk to me. Sit on down and relax your fire feet. Come in and let's sip this tea. Girl, come talk to me.